Hey guys, this is Krazy here, aka Kenny Mech 7 and this is my quick start guide to playing Day Z. Um, this is for people who haven't played Day Z before. Um, the Day Z standalone is coming out in a couple of months, so now is a really good time to play regular Day Z, and I'll tell you why. That's because a lot of people that have played Day Z but don't haven't played recently they're really excited for the daisy standalone come out so there's tons of people getting on regular daisy because they want to play it because they can't wait and they they're just all the servers are getting really populated in this last month or two and it's just going to keep building up until the daisy standalone comes out so yeah it's the community is really healthy right now so now is a good time if you want to play daisy it costs like <clears throat> twelve dollars or something now too so I'm gonna go ahead and show you how to get started um, this is the way I did it I did it through Steam so what you're gonna want to do is go to uh, open up your favorite web browser if you don't have this is if you don't have a Steam account you just go to Steam uh, go to steam.com and you're gonna uh, click on login at the top here and you're going to join Steam you're gonna make an account I'm not going to walk you through that. I'm sure you can figure that out. And then you're going to install Steam at the top once you're logged in. And then you can exit out of that. And then you're going to want to open Steam up when it's installed. And you go up here and you're just going to um, search for Arma. Arm, Arma. Arma. Arma 2. Arma Space 2. And uh, there's two ways you can do it. You can um, buy Arma 2 for, oh wow, the price dropped again. You can buy Arma 2 for $6.50 and then Operation Arrowhead for $10. Or if you scroll down, you should see uh, Arma 2 Combined Operations. It's only $12.49 right now. Really cheap. I got mine for thirty dollars, so this is much cheaper now. They um, are lowering the price because they know that a lot of people want to play, <clears throat> especially right now. It's starting to get popular again. So um, you're going to buy that, and then you're going to start downloading it. When it's starting to download, you'll see a little download button at the bottom here. It's, I'm not downloading anything, so I got to go to View downloads and what you want to download is arma 2 arma 2 operation arrowhead and what's really important that a lot of people skip is you need to download the arma 2 operation arrowhead beta this is what makes daisy possible so make sure you get the arma 2 operation ahead beta also and um so you need those three things arma 2 arma 2 operation arrowhead Arm 2 Operation Arrowhead Beta. Now, a lot of you might say, but there's DayZ in the Steam store. Um, I want to recommend downloading from Steam because they don't keep it up to date. Uh, I mean, they try to, but they really don't keep it up to date. So just forget about that. What we're going to do instead is we're going to use DayZ Commander. You can also play with 6, and I have played with 6 also because you need that in order to play the Invasion 1944 Wasteland mods for Arma 2, and I will get to that in another video. But for this video alone, you only need to. I'm going to walk you through DayZ Commander. Um, you just Google DayZ Commander, and you're going to go to the website, and um, you're going to click on Download. And this is a little tricky. They got a bunch of ads up because uh, they're trying to make some money. A guy did this for free, so don't get mad at him for trying to make, make some money. But it can be a little tricky. You want to click on the very bottom right, download Daisy Commander, right here, if you can't see that. Right here, right, right there, download it. So you're going to download it, you're going to install it. And then when you open it up, um, you're going to want to follow just a couple really important steps here first of all you need to make sure that your settings are set up correctly so um right here in the top right you'll see settings click on settings and then make sure that your game directories are pointed to the exes uh mine's um default where steam installs it by default but if you changed where you wanted steam to install it's going to be a different location i'm using a 64-bit windows 7 so mine's installed in c program files 86 steam steam apps common and there's the armor 2 there's the armor 2 operation arrowhead 
and there's the DayZ directory, directory, but you don't have DayZ installed yet. But um, so don't worry about this just yet. But uh, if you're using 32-bit, I think it'll just be regular program files. And if you're using a Mac, a Mac, well, you're gonna have to figure it out yourself because I don't use Mac. Um, don't really have nothing against them. I just like my computer being compatible with everything. So next, you're gonna wanna click on install and slash update. And what you're going to do first at the top here where it says Daisy Commander, uh, make sure that's up to date. If it's not, click on the install thing there. Um, for Armor 2, see how mine says in parentheses up to date right here? Well, if it's not up to date, then you want to go um, install the latest. And that's really important first, first of all. And then you're going to want to, before you install the DayZ mod actually, what you want to do is you want to get into Steam. You're going to want to launch Operation, or you're going to want to launch Arma 2 first. Just open it up once, exit it, and then you're going to want to open Operation Arrowhead once and exit. I forgot those are very important steps and you have to do them. Then you can come back here to Daisy Commander and you can install the latest Daisy up to date mod. Make sure you install the latest one. I mean, some servers aren't to the latest, but most of them are. So, but if a server says that it's the wrong Daisy um, version, then you might have to roll back to an older one. Uh, I do that sometimes on some of my servers that don't update as quickly as the other one but you can see on the right hand side of here it says pretty much all servers are up to this patch current patch right now at the time I made this video but um next what you're gonna do is you're just gonna go to servers and you're just gonna filter for day Z only and then you're going to refresh all and you can see here on the right hand side you can click on players and you can view by one click is no players, other click is the most players. And you can see that the Daisy servers are pretty freaking hopping right now. There's a lot of really good servers up. Now, uh, some servers are going to be passworded or whitelisted. If you don't know what whitelisted means, whitelisted is the opposite of blacklisted. It means that you have to be, um, uh, the server administrator has to enter your GUI in order for you just to join the server and that helps keep hackers out I know uh, battle eyes been doing some updates lately and they're catching a lot of hackers it's even it's pretty safe to play in public service nowadays compared to how it was but um, still whitelist servers I would recommend them um, in order to get your GUID that's like a unique 32 character long code for your steam uh, uh, copy that you bought for your um, specific copy and uh, I can't remember the command to get your GOID oh yeah I do I remember what it is so let me show you real quick I'm just gonna open up quickly a notepad for you so I can type it out for you in big stupid letters um font ah oh, 28 font bold let's go bold oblique why not yeah, you're gonna type um, hashtag um, b client space guid. You're gonna type this once you get into a regular Daisy game that's not whitelisted. You type that, and then underneath of it, it'll say something like uh, uh, your GUID client thingy is and then it's gonna give you like one two eight G five blah 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 it's gonna be like a big long thing and it disappears after like ten seconds in the chat log so it's a really pain in the ass to copy this code. So uh once you get it copied and you've checked it a million times and you're sure it's correct, make sure you keep that written down somewhere. Excuse me. <coughs> Uh, sorry to cough. Make sure you copy that somewhere down and you keep it secret, keep it safe, so that you never have to go through this horrifying process again. And you can use this code to get whitelisted on their servers. Uh, don't worry about uh, like some servers are just 
they want you just to type this in, in forms to get whitelisted. And you might be like, oh, I don't want nobody to see my GUID. Don't worry. Nobody can do anything with your GUID. It's not like there's nothing that you can do except for whitelist people on the servers with this. Um, as far as I know, there's I've openly typed mine in many of forms where anybody can see it. And from what I've heard from other, um, you know, uh, um, battle eye gurus is that there's n there's nothing any hacker or anybody can do with your GUID if, if even if they get it so don't worry about that it's just to get whitelisted on servers so that's what you're gonna do and then um, you're just going to double click on a server and you're gonna play um, public servers just play you can play on public servers for now I have a bunch of favorite public servers that I can share here um, Daisy UFP um, these are passworded servers, actually, so you need to go uh, Google their website and apply, and they'll give you a password. Um, these gamers' dreams are public servers. These are really fun servers. Um, they start you off. Uh, not many people are playing on them right now, but uh, this is a really fun server. I like it. They start you off with like a pistol, I think, which is, it, it, I mean, and and they start you off with a map, which ruins the fun. Um, but uh, it's fun if you want to practice comic because everybody just starts shooting each other. Um, I don't know what this is. This server. I have no idea. That's one of my favorites. Daisy Origins. I'll get to this. This is a separate mod. I'll get to it later um, in a later video. But the Laughing Man's Private Hive is a really good server as well. As you can see, it's always bumping. And I get 15 millisecond latency to their server in America. But um, all right, next up, I'm going to show you a video on how to configure your controls because there's a shit ton of controls in DayZ, and it can be really confusing for somebody that played for their first time. So I'm going to get to that video next, and um, I will see you over there.